Hi Pisces, this is Shah. Welcome back my Cyber Angels and for new people that have landed on the channel, welcome and please subscribe and hit the bell on all. And if you're not getting notified then please reset the bell and go to the bell and click on all and then you will see that um, a pop-up comes in and says you'll be notified. It's something that I have found. Um, it's a bit quirky, but uh, that's the system, and I found that out by accident. So your first card for the 17th to the 23rd is the Ace of Wands, and I think this is beautifully depicted. Will. You might have a very strong will, like the Ace of Wands. The people that are Wands or are Fire, they're very determined and strong-willed. So you will bring something into uh, the material world. This could be an idea. Uh, this could be uh, an action. Okay, you're putting an idea into action. New beginnings. This could be passion. This could be a job. This could be something physical that you have wanted for a long time and you're bringing it into the physical world. You see the hand in the clouds and that is the divine giving you an opportunity for a new beginning. It could also be passion or a romance, a new relationship with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. Beautiful. And this is the Pagan Way Tarot. And on top of that, um, you have the Six of Spades, the Six of Swords. I'll go into that in a minute. And you've got number 19, which is 10. So there is an ending and a new beginning. And you've got the Tower of the Lenaman. I hope you can see it. The Tower in Lenaman means ambition. It's okay to be ambitious, but don't forget the people around you. It's like you are studying and you're learning to become fully fledged qualified. Or you might be working overtime to get a promotion. Ah, that's fine, but it could also, uh, it also means don't leave the, don't forget the people that support you whilst you're doing this. Make time for family and friends, because once you reach the top, it will be pretty lonely. And because this is also the Six of Spades, that means moving away from rough waters to smoother and quieter waters. It also means moving home, and you could be crossing water, you could be going on holiday. But you could, this is the tower, so that could be an apartment block. So you could be moving away from this and going into a proper house with, well, a house with a garden. Perhaps that was your ambition, to move into a house of your own with a garden, and no longer in an apartment block. Okay, the Six of Swords is the indicator, the Six of Spades is the Six of Swords, is the indication that you might be moving home. You are, you are getting there to your ambition, because it's a new beginning. Two, this is a new beginning, this is a ten, which is an ending and a new beginning. Midweek we've got the Three of Pentacles, look at that, you've got recognition for your hard work. You have, boom, qualified. If you're doing any exams, then you will pass your exams because you've worked hard for it and you know what you want and you're going to go for it. This is a new job, most probably. Then again, we have the Jack of Diamonds. So that's the Page of Pentacles. That's the cartomancy sign. Uh, perhaps you can see it better like that. Uh, well, it's it's a very colourful card and I love it. it. You can see the face. You can see the face of a young man. You might even be meeting a young man. This could be um, a Taurus, a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn. But the page is the predominant uh, 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 one in this. The pages are the Capricorns. Again, number 10. 
not ending a new beginning. The scythe, that is the Linamon card, means you're cutting with away from the past. You're leaving the past. Well, yes, of course, you might be moving upwards and you're leaving, um, let's say you uh, worked in the fourth level and you're going on to the tenth level um, to the CEOs. You've worked hard for it or you've passed your exam and you have cut your path and you're leaving the past behind but you are also harvesting yes you are harvesting a promotion you have fulfilled your wish um, by getting being ambitious you've cut a new path okay you're harvesting life experience wisdom what you've learned if you've been studying uh, you keep on learning every single day you don't have to be at, in school for that and then we go on to Friday on Friday you have the strength card boom and the strength is beautiful it's not only the lion it is the bear and the wolf isn't that awesome the big strong intelligent and yet so gentle but can be swift animals it's beautiful you are in your strength you feel as strong as a lion as gentle as a bear and as swift as the wolf and your emotions might be a little bit high because there's full moon here Ooh, and we are going into Virgo and the energy is going to change from action into Virgo uh, gentleness steady step by step and you've done that and you've grown you have done what the Virgo energy is go and have a look at the um, Virgo energy um, um, video because I've just made a video on Virgo energy and you've got again the uh, clubs the clubs or the clover ace of clover a ace of clubs the same as the ace of wands and you've got number 25 which is seven luck is on your side new beginning this could be a new job new passion new romance with a fire sign Aries Leo or Sagittarius action you've been really busy this month and it's definitely in this third week it will come to fruition as we are moving into Virgo moon on the 19th and uh, Virgo uh, Sun on the 23rd I've checked it then at the weekend we have the tarot tower not the tower in the Lenaman which means ambitious ambitions but I do keep the um, in the back of my mind the tower and uh, the tower of the tarot as well unexpected changes but perhaps there might now be uh, uh, unexpected changes changes that you didn't know was going to happen but with all this energy of the ace of ones twice and you you are forming partnerships as, as you've got the ring here look at that you are forming partnerships perhaps you might have just waited uh, until you were promoted or when you got your um, degree and now you're cutting away from the old things and you're setting your this new path is a new beginning with a partner which is a fire sign you might be getting married or forming a business partnership and it's happening all of a sudden very fast unexpected you couldn't make a decision or a choice so the divine stepped in and made this change for you wow okay and that is beautiful the tower so when one door closes don't cry about it you don't can't cry of spilled milk the divine has given you this change and take it as it comes one door closes 20 will open because look at what you've got here you are going to do big business and luck in business or at work as you've got the fish and again number seven so you've got number uh, seven here um, yes you've got number seven two number sevens 
so 77 so that's your provident, prominent number this week and you have the king of diamonds so whatever you're going to touch it's going to turn to gold you have business luck here you know how to invest you've learned how to invest brilliant brilliant know your boundaries though and let others know your boundaries as fish don't know boundaries they don't have boundaries luck at work luck in business know your boundaries is a lucky card because you've got number seven and the fish also represent luck but you've got the king of pentacles which is Taurus but don't forget it could be a Virgo or a Capricorn that you're meeting because that's the energy and we are in Virgo so big changes for you Pisces lots of money coming in but know your boundaries don't over exhaust yourself now we're going to the um, Av um, the Avalonian Oracle and you've got moon 5 moon of evocation evocation isn't that beautiful okay sorry you have moon 5 moon of evocation evocation the god this is goddess Bolduet and this is the moon the moon is the first full moon when sun is in Pisces full moon in Virgo first full moon when sun is in Pisces full moon in Virgo right it's like you've got the vir um, a virgin dancing in the sunlight I think it's so beautiful now I'm just going to give you the description of the card and I'm going to give you the keywords and an affirmation um, um, this one has got also the myth so I might even read the myth and, and the herb is broom and broom is a powerful cleansing herb for both energetically and physically as traditionally used in the making of besoms right so it's also a card of cleansing moon cards usually are description in a sacred grove and surrounded by broom flowers the goddess Boo blood wit dances into being called forth from the other world into the physical form by the magicians Gwedillion and Math, she steps into the realm of land the form of her body wrought from a weaving of a broom oak and meadow sweet blossoms although sometimes nine herbs are invoked in her making keywords new beginnings creativity that's the fire okay beautiful manifestation fresh perspective finding solutions well you did you're finding solutions here by your hard work and you've done that you've done the thinking you've done it okay and look at that your strength you're in the strength and she's holding a feather to the moon it's like an angel's feather and all they're like the bear the lion the strength the wisdom of the wolf and the nurturing side and protective side the mother bear side that's beautiful you've come a long way the myth I'll tell you the myth the myth entering now into the time of blood wit we seek out the lessons surrounding personal autonomy expectation and the path to wisdom that results in our freedom Lulo Gwith, the son of Arian Hod and nephew to the magician Gwydion, has had three Taiheo or dis destinies, three destinies, let me put it that way. This is all Gaelic. 
set upon him by his mother, that he should have no name, save one she gave him, that, she sh that he should bear no arms, save those with which she herself arms him with, and that she should have no that he should have no wife from the woman of the race of the earth. Each challenge is overcome with the aid of Gwyndyden's trickery, with the help of his own uncle Math and Mathonwe, the king of Gwynet, and Gwynet, and one of the most powerful magicians in the world. Gwyndyden creates a wife for Leo from the flowers of oak, broom and meadow sweet. She is named Bloodwit, which means flower face. But now if I love this book, I love this deck, and if you have watched the review, then it's I've already I know already this story, but this is in the old fashioned Gaelic pagan uh, English pagan ways written. And if you look at the um, mythic series that I started a while ago and I haven't had time to carry on with it then you can understand the story much better and that's why I love this book and I'm the affirmation that you can use whilst contemplating or meditating is nothing is impossible when I pour my soul into making it happen I possess all of the resources I need to meet any challenge I embrace each day with joy knowing it brings with it an opportunity for new beginnings and that is what he's learned the apprentice the three of Pentacles and he's gone a long way he's come a long way and he's reaching his goals so he's you're standing in your strength Pisces and you've come a long way you've learned a lot and you have realized that you have all the magic the magic to manifest what you want you have the magic for a fresh perspective look he's looking out into the distance getting his perspective awesome you are creative creative because you've got the fire here and that's creative energy well done and there's new beginnings definitely and you've been manifesting for this and what you haven't manifested that is given to you by the divine unexpectedly awesome now we're going to the TLC tender love and care for the soul enter the flow yes go with the flow don't go against the flow <laughs> you can't drag a dead horse with you there are myriads of options available to you even if you feel rushed to act fast you'll be better able to make a long-lasting and confident decision by heeding the voice of your soul your intuition you can either step back and wait inquire and consider or meditate and pray or you can push away in harried hopes that it will all work out. Things do tend to come together in the end but to avoid a dramatic situation that later requires unraveling look at all your choices then exercise the many different ways you can express yourself feel how liberating it is to make a new choice and to sell past ingrained habitual res responses so old habits you're leaving troubled waters du -du 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 -du. instead of reacting once you've made an intentional choice lie back and be carried by the winds of flow in your greatest hope for direction and that's the six of swords it's usually traditionally it's a boat a woman with a child and a man pushing the boat forward and here's your little boat 
beautiful. It's so tranquil. That is a picture that you can keep in your mind when you're meditating. And there is romance. Yes, definitely. There is a lot of passion, but we also, it could be with a fire sign, because that's the ace of fire, so there could be a new love coming in, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Um, there could be, um, uh, we've got the page of diamonds, so that could be a Capricorn, but don't forget Taurus or Virgo. Again, the fire signs here, the ace, and we have the king of pentacles. So there you go. It could be an earth sign or a fire sign that's coming your way. You do have the ring here, okay? So partnerships, either in romance or at work, because we've got the two aces for action, fire. I hope you have enjoyed that this reading, and please do look at the video of the Virgo energy. It's it's the energy that we're going into because now we are in action, passion, creativity, fast, 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 and Tranquilo is coming in. It's beautiful energy. And have a look at the reviews and enjoy. Take care, stay safe, be blessed, and I love you. Ciao, ciao. Please share and like.